Well, I always try to make each day different. Yesterday was a very, very unique day. Heading out to the doctor for my physical. They give me all this news, do all this blood work. And then I get a call. I got to go back in for more blood work today. Ah, oh, ah, oh, this is not what I like. But the good news is, we're supposed to have the whole morning up until about 1 o'clock with no chance of rain, which probably means I better really be careful it's going to rain. And I can get the clear. I hope the, the fairing's ready for the clear. And I might even be able to get the side panel sorted out today before the rains come. And the reason I'm getting trying to sequence this up is we're supposed to have three days of crappy stormy weather rain it's coming from the midwest and just what we need but it's the time of year the weather is always unpredictable and we're always trying to sequence up something we can do to take advantage of whatever comes our way so today after the normal chores feeding the fish feeding the birds feed grandpa wendy heading back down there getting my blood work done I'm going to get ready. I hope I get back in time. I can do that fairing. If nothing else, get the clear on the fairing. And basically from that point on, then everything else will just be a free bonus. So maybe if I play my cards right today, I can catch a break. Maybe even the sun will come out. But look at this. Look what we have to deal with. Clouds on one end, sun coming out. So I better get my uh, my rear end in gear and get some clear going. Now to try to plan this out correctly, what I'll do, I'll re-tack rag this down. I'll get the clear mixed up, re-tack tack rag this down, double check there aren't any little spots that need touch up. You never do know, right to the very end. I really, I really am hoping it just stays <laughs> like it is right now actually the wind isn't blowing too bad so even if I just get this part done today but then if this is drying as a free bonus I can get this sanded out and if it hasn't started raining yet I can even get some clear on that so it may be a win-win-win situation I'm carefully tack ragging this down it's already been tack rag but of course I don't want to have any contamination on this final coat of clear if possible We'd like it to be uh, just, it'll just make it easier to buff and sand. And I know a potential spot would be down in these scoops. It might even be a little bit to our advantage that the wind isn't blowing right now. Because setting this part up can be tricky. This is a tricky part to, because of the way you have to hold it and you can't grab it. And it can be a, it can be a little bit of an effort. That looks like we're ready to go. I don't see any major thing I have to touch up. Looks like we're ready for clear. Now this is the clear we've been using on the whole project and actually for the last two or three years. Five Star Extreme 5172 and the hardener that seems to work the best in the shop 5186 the fast hardener. That's about a hundred bucks a gallon, ninety if you buy it wholesale. Now the idea here today will be to get two coats on, 20 minutes to a half hour apart, and get it into the garage before the raindrops come. If that happens, I'll be really happy.
Now I'm really not sure you can see the quality in this unless you're looking at a really good high def TV. All these videos are in high def by the way. Wow that's really... They, you work and work and work and work and work and then there's that day you say wow I'm glad I didn't rush this. I'm glad I took my time. And it looks like the weather's cooperating which will be a big plus for right now. That looks like it's going to lay down just about as good as anything I've ever painted. And that'll make the buffing of it a piece of cake. Now what will happen is we let this sit a good half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour. We'll give it a second coat. Now the only problem is the clouds are really starting to gather out to the west. And this usually means we have a limited time before that just clouds right up and we're going to have more rain. That's about as lucky as you can possibly get. That is really looking good. I cannot believe how nice that looks. All the clear is on there now. Now the trick is once it uh, sit out here for two minutes and just get tacky where it's sticky like flypaper to the finger. Make sure I don't have any runs. It doesn't look like I do. And we'll get that in the garage before the bugs find that attractive uh, and get their uh, it turns it into a piece of flypaper. It'll be flypaper for about a half an hour, 45 minutes. And again, I wish you could see the quality. And that's what we're striving for, is just to get that quality that it's flawless. I put a lot of extra clear over the paint lines, along all the edges, and in the scoop, so I'd have plenty of material. And it doesn't look like... Oh, boy. I'm real happy with that, and I'm real happy I had the patience to wait for... Actually, the wind isn't blowing bad right now, which is in our favor. Now, the only piece left now, and if it's our super lucky day. See, it's already our lucky day. We're already, we're already in great shape, especially if three days of rain are coming. That'll be just no big deal at all, because I'll give that a couple days to dry. The longer it dries, the better. The 2500 sanding and a 4C buffing compound. Now, it's a, it's a very difficult thing to explain to somebody how you put in 800 hours on a project like this. We had that tip over, little accident. and But I was, to, to be honest, on my father's grave, I was so happy the way this bike rode and drove and I was comfortable and I could see out of the mirrors and, oh my God, I love the sound of that Norton muffler. We got a brand new Norton muffler ordered already. And now to see the fairing in... I just like the day it was brand new so and there's one part left again I don't know how the weather's going to hold up and I'm not going to rush it it doesn't matter to me because all of these parts what happens the minute you get ants in your pants you compromise the quality and the quality is what I want to have for this bike and again I know most people are looking at this on some kind of a cell phone a little baby tablet or something but if you look at some of these it's worth watching on a big screen TV because boy you can see that Yama yellow what a beautiful color Dennis thank you so much for the mix that is a really nice color of course we've had a good luck with the the weather today and I'm really hoping if the weather stays the way it is I can get this whole part sanded out with 1200 but again the trick is not to get all antsy in the pantsy this is gonna take time I have Karen brewing up an extra cup of strong coffee because, boy, if the weather holds out like it was for the spray out of the fairing, half of the time when you, you hope you have a good day and they tell you it's a good day, it isn't. And then days it says it's going to be mediocre, it's going to rain and this and that, and then it turns out good. It's like free lunch. Now the old trick, I'm turning the sandpaper 90 degrees every time I move it. This would usually be about two to three hours of work. I'm not going to obviously let the camera run because we really want to just get it sanded. I put a lot of extra clear over these stripes. It's just that old thing, labor of love. 
And when I get to the point where that bug is, I know there's clear underneath him, so I'm going to just be real careful and hope I don't make myself a big touch-up spot up there. Uh, we're going to see. Time will tell. But boy, what a, what a boon it would be if I get the clear on this today. Wow. That would be... See, I, ne I don't get my hopes up high a lot of times because I know you, you're doing a part like this and as soon as you start rushing it, the quality goes bye-bye. Now, the test is I don't want to feel that stripe. As soon as there's little shiny dots around it, I've got to keep sanding it. And there's no, there's no cheap way around it. It's just got to be a labor of love. Now, as I'm working my way up toward that bug, that bug is, I don't know if you can really see him. He's really in there. It's, this is kind of, I feel like I'm killing him or something, but it's just a question of, at some point, I'm going to be through to clear. He's going to disappear. And I hope I don't have a scar under there, but even if I do, I've got to touch it up, of course. And that's what I wanted to avoid by putting a fairing in the garage as soon as I possibly can. As soon as that paint tacks up, yeah, he's going away little by little by little, but it's going to be time consuming. Also, everywhere that there's a paint line or a decal, I'm spending a lot of extra time because I want this final coat of clear to just lay right down. Oh boy, and that is, that was a lot of work getting that flat. That was a multiple cup of coffee sand out. Oh, now the final thing is to clean it all up, tack rag it down, make sure I don't have any other touch-up spots, anything that has to be, any little shiny spots on there. Mix up the clear and get cooking. No, I, I tried to stack the deck in my favor. Get it out of the sun. I don't want to take a chance having it out in the sun. It's warmed right up this afternoon. It's probably up to 60, 65 degrees. I don't want that black absorbing the heat and making a bubble. So I'm going to give this about a half an hour. Go out, get another coat on. Boy, the, the fairing is just drying up perfectly. This might be my lucky day. You never know. You never know when your lucky day is coming, and the bad news is you never know when your unlucky day is coming either. But we put a lot of work into that, and to think, not that long ago, that port was uh, going to the scrap heap. Not that long ago, that fairing had <laughs> giant body work. Yeah, I'm, I'm real happy the way this whole thing is playing out. And if you're following along on this great adventure with 2,800 <laughs> parts, it didn't start out this way. But it is very time consuming, but we do it with passion. And we always do it without keeping track of the time. Now while I'm waiting between coats on that side fairing, I mixed up enough clear I'll have extra. I'll get a coat, final coat of clear on the mirrors. And boy, by the end of this day, Everything on this bike will be ready to buff.
Now once again, if you're looking at this on a TV screen, you're not a big screen TV, you're seeing a lot of good quality work. And on a phone, I don't know. Maybe someday I'll buy a phone, I don't know. I'm trying not to. Boy, oh boy. Not many days I've had have been as rewarding as today. We have really, it's, it's what I always say, it's our, been our lucky day so far. Now I always think you never should celebrate until you get the part inside the garage and to where bugs can't land in it, dust, bird poop on it and whatnot. So we are at the point of fairing. Now if a bug flew into it, nothing would happen. We've got another half hour to babysit this guy. But boy, that'll be very pleasant time. Not many days I've had as rewarding an experience as getting this done today. This is really, really boated my float. Now, for people that like flat black mirrors, I don't deny you your uh, enjoyment. But to be honest, these are the mirrors. I know that other set of mirrors I have, I'm going to paint them up the next rainy day we get. I always think the quality of this kind of a job is if you can watch TV in it or see your reflection. It's going to dry up beautifully. This whole project, I think we're a week away from having it back on the road. Back on wherever it's going to go. <laughs> you never really know. Yeah, that really, that really, this really turned out to be an exceptional day. But that's been the whole story. This is almost 180 chap chapters of this. And every one of them has been a little bit of an adventure. I've tried to share different information. Stuff that I know has been beneficial to me. Maybe beneficial to you. And maybe it'll just be entertaining. Hey, boy, I'm telling you. There's no... You, you can say what you want. There's no substitute for the reward of looking at parts that you know other people would have thrown in a dumpster. Bikes that might have been become parts bikes with different uh, circumstances. And to look at it now, wow, I'm telling you, that that is really, this is really a very special day. Now, I've basically done this whole project with a, with a lot of passion. And now that I see it all coming to fruition, and even after the disappointment and the rebirth, Maybe somewhere on this bike we ought to put a number two for the uh, the rebirth. Anyway, we have had a great time doing this. We're maybe a week away, because I'm not going to rush it, of course. But I've actually, from this crash, I've made some things that I think are little improvements in the, the bodywork, the fits. Certainly the paint, it was pretty good to begin with. It, it's probably even a little better now. I don't know. We still have to get the muffler. That's the thing, the Dime City muffler. Um, boy, trying to schedule things in my mind because I'm all excited about it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and hope you enjoy all these little things. And, and I encourage you to share some stuff with us, photos, YouTubes, however you do it. It's more fun when you share it. So thanks for watching.